Email copywriting is the skill that took me from absolutely broke to making over $48,000 a month in 18 months as a freelancer. It's one of those skills that you don't think would make you a bunch of money because you've never really heard of it, but those who know, know that it's an absolute rocket ship to get to serious six figures. For today, I'm gonna share the exact playbook that's gonna get you to your first $5,000 a month as a freelancer, just like I did, even if you've never written a line of copy in your life. This is going to be a full length, free course on email copywriting, what it is, how it works, the psychology behind these emails, how to get paid, and a whole lot more. So grab your favorite snack, grab yourself a water, sit back, relax, enjoy the show. So let's talk about email for a sec. Let's talk about why brand owners love to use it and why copywriters need to learn this skill. This may sound like a fake number, but most businesses who actually use email properly will make between 20 and 30% of their entire revenue just from this one channel. Even if you think that email marketing doesn't work because you've never opened an email in your life and you've never bought from an email, I'm telling you, a lot of people do. You need to remove the bias that you have around like, you don't do something, therefore other people don't do it because you're not a regular person and regular people do buy from emails. The way it works is the business has a big, long email list of between 1,000 or 10,000 or even 100,000 people that's just sitting on their computer. In that email list, you have people who are brand new, have never bought anything, or people who have maybe been around on the email list for a while and watched some videos that they have or consumed some of their content, or they bought before and they're ready to buy again. When these business owners send emails, the point is either to get engagement out of their audience or to sell something. And your job as a copywriter is to write emails that go back and forth and do both of those things. Some people send one email a week, some people send three a week, some people send emails every single day. It depends on what kind of client you're working with, but as a copywriter, you're gonna be writing emails to their list. There are a bunch of ways that a business owner can get emails onto their list. They can do it with a lead form. Like if you've ever seen those PDF, those free PDFs where it's like, hey, download my ebook, just give me your name and email. That's one way to get on the list. If a bunch of people sign up for an event, then you can get emails from that. If someone has a community elsewhere, like Slack, for example, if someone has a big Slack channel, they can get all those emails out of there and that can be on their email list as well. Or if they've just been selling stuff for a long time, they probably have everyone who's ever bought, they have their email somewhere in a database and that can be on their email list too. Most of the time, the fastest way for a client to get emails is to be doing some sort of lead magnet, which basically just means people put in their information to get something for free or for very cheap. And all those emails are worth more money to them than giving away something for free. The crazy part is pretty much every business owner has an email list and some of them don't even know that they have it. I've had clients before where I say, hey, are you doing anything with email right now? And they say, no, not at all. They say, I don't have an email list. And then they have 2000 people who have bought something from them over the last five years. And that's an email list right there. We can sell them more stuff. So pretty much every business owner has an email list. If they say they don't, they're probably lying. The reason email marketing is so effective, especially for digital products, is because when you get an email from somebody, you're not scrolling on TikTok, you're not scrolling on Instagram, it's really hard to scroll away. When you click on one, your entire screen is focused on them. And if you're able to write something that can hook people's attention and get them you know, interested enough in what you have to say that you can pitch something, that means you're gonna make money. Depending on the list size, pretty much every single time you send an email, as long as the email doesn't suck, you're gonna make money. I'll show you how to make sure your email doesn't suck in a second, but just know that if you have a list of five, 10, 20,000 people, every single time you hit send, a couple of people are gonna give you money or a couple of people are gonna book calls in your calendar if you wanna sell them on the phone or something like that. This is the part where I share my screen. I'm gonna show you examples of emails. I'm gonna show you the type of stuff that you're gonna be writing, why you could probably do it, and then I'm gonna go and write an email that you're gonna watch live and I'm gonna show you how I do it. Let's get going. So this is an email from a homie of mine called Wiz of Ecom. And this guy has a bunch of different products, but he has one main thing called Utopia, which is like a $20 a month subscription to like a community. It's actually a really cool product. I've been inside of it for probably two and a half years now. Uh, almost three years, holy shit. And I'm pretty sure he has a product now where he's selling social growth. And so he sent an email to his list um, that we can look at right now. So it goes, hey, 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 Cardinal. And the reason he has Cardinal in here is because I put my name, my first name, which is actually Mason, but I put Cardinal into a field one time. And anytime he goes curvy bracket, curvy bracket, space, first underscore name, space, curvy bracket, curvy bracket, that allows the data to be pulled in so that he can use my first name and it's different for everybody. He goes, five years ago, my family was in debt. I was stuck in an alien country and I quit partnership with my only escape plan. 
Today, I work with the biggest businesses and earn multiple seven figs. I did it all without ever needing to send an abomination of sales pitch and DMs. Instead, I invested three years in providing value, building a network, and growing my reach on X. Everything I've learned over those years, I poured into the presence pillars. It's your access to all my strategies and master plan. If you want to learn more, you can click here. Tonight at midnight, we'll update our pricing model to introduce yearly memberships. So this will be your last chance to join the presence pillars and never pay again. My friend, I want to see you transition to the biggest authority on X. Right now, you have 140 followers and no idea what to post, or you could have 150K followers and you want to take it to the next level. The cool thing is we've helped skyrocket businesses for people at every level on X, and we guarantee we can do the same for you. But it all starts with you taking the first step. Click here to join. Waiting to see you inside. Love, Wiz. So a couple quick notes on this email. I can tell that this is not written by my friend, Wiz of Ecom. He hired somebody to do this, and in my opinion, this is like four or five out of 10 copy. There's a couple of spelling mistakes in here. Um, I'd quit partnership, should be quit a partnership. Work with the biggest businesses and earn multiple seven figures. That's okay, I guess. Um, we're missing periods at the end of every sentence. And you can tell it's just not written by someone who's speaking native English. But it's kind of interesting because this person still got a gig. So what I would recommend for this person is, if you look at my screen here, I have Grammarly right here. It's a free extension that you can use to basically fix all of these mistakes that you have and not have to worry about is this, you know, does this sound like proper English? Is this grammatically correct? All those like little mini errors that you have are just not gonna exist because Grammarly will fix it for you. But here's what I do like about this email. Wiz talks about his history and he seems like a relatable guy. So his family was in debt, he was stuck in a country that's kind of scary and he had quit a partnership, which like, for, this is more for like advanced entrepreneurs who kind of know what it feels like to quit a partnership. It's really scary. Like for you to sort of like go out on your own a lot of times, like it's sort of like, whoa, like what do I do? You have no ideas, what am I gonna work on, whatever. And so like he's hitting that pain point that a lot of people are probably feeling. Today I work with the biggest businesses and earn multiple seven figs. So this is great because you're comparing where he was five years ago to today. And hopefully people are gonna be like, all right, hopefully in five years I can be like Wiz of Ecom and earn seven figs. The crazy part is he did it without having to send a bunch of sales pitches because you and I both know that cold outreach kind of sucks. Like sending DMs, sending emails, all that stuff. It's just not very fun. He's providing a solution for people who are a little bit more advanced, where if they've already spent a year or two doing cold outreach, they don't really have to do that anymore because he has this product called the Presence Pillars. So the main pain point that he's hitting is you don't have to do this thing that you don't want to do because you can just join the Presence Pillars and not have to worry about it. So here he's talking about how he's basically made this over three years. It's three years worth of value that he's learned by posting on Twitter. Um, and he's giving it to you for a certain price. The reason this email probably did well is because there's something called urgency in here. So when you're selling something, it's cool to have an offer that people already want, but what makes it better is giving people limitations on when or how they can buy it. So for example, if he just ended the email here, it would be a good email, but now it's starting to get real because people know that there's a, a time limit on it, so they need to act right now. So tonight at midnight, we're updating our pricing model. So you're gonna end up paying more if you wait too long, so you should do it right now is basically what he's saying. So that's where the offer is. I wanna see you transition to the biggest authority on X, okay? So that's what he's saying he wants to get out of this. Um, and if you follow these steps inside the presence pillars, then you're probably gonna do that. And he speaks directly to a pain point that a, prob a lot of people probably have, right? So you might have 140 followers and no idea what to post, which, you know, for most beginner business owners, that's probably where they're at. Like basically no followers, they have you know, no engagement and they're not getting any clients inbound to them, which is basically what the offer is, right? And he's comparing it to where a lot of people wanna be, where you have 50K followers and you wanna take it to the next level where people are coming inbound to you. They're hitting you up asking basically to pay you money for your services. He goes, the cool thing we, is we've helped skyrocket businesses for people at every level on X and we guarantee we can do the same for you, all right? The word guarantee, that's a very powerful word to use as a copywriter. But it all starts with you taking the first step, which the first step is, Click here to join the presence pillars. All right, so let's see what this actually looks like here. The exact system that helped 128 plus coaches, agency owners, and course creators, and CEOs become the go-to authority in their niche while generating millions in revenue from scratch. Okay, so check it out. So it's 997, and if you wanna do the whole thing, it's 2997, which is a lot. So here's the secret. Wiz of Ecom is a savage, and he spent a long time building up a really, really strong audience on social media through YouTube and Instagram and mostly Twitter. And so he probably has an email list of a couple dozen thousand people, I wanna say between 20 and 30,000. If he sent an email like this to everyone, 
Think about how many people are gonna grab that 997. Let's say even if it's only like four or five people out of 20,000. Because this email, you know, I wouldn't be surprised if only four or five people did. That, that means they would have made four or 5,000 off of one email. They do three of these a week and their copywriter is getting paid two, three grand a month. Wiz of Ecom is profitable on that investment. You see, are you starting to see how it's working? So this is a good email. Let's keep moving. Let's go to the next one. I want to show you one from my boy, Luke Alexander. So Luke Alexander sells sales training. He has a company called Closer Cartel. He absolutely crushes. He is really good at what he does and his students get a lot of really good results. He teaches how to do high ticket closing, which is one of the few businesses that I actually recommend outside of copywriting. And so he has an email for basically why you need to do sales. So you see right here, he goes Cardinal. So he used the first name merge field is what it's called, Dy dynamic field, merge field, whatever you wanna call it. He used the first name field up top here. So he says Cardinal, for all of you who are in a similar position to where I was a few years ago, AKA you know what's possible with online business and you have the hunger. You need, you literally need to make it work or you're in for a life of mediocrity, but you literally don't have three to 5K in the bank to give it a real shot. This video should be a breath of fresh air for you. An actual plan to get 5K in your checking account by the end of the year, so that way you can give yourself some oxygen, but more importantly, a chance to make six figures online in 2024. Check it out. And then he links out to a YouTube video. So this is a really short email, and I think it still did well because he's not actually selling anything. He's trying to give something away for free. He's sending you to a YouTube video. So the YouTube video is here's how to make money starting with zero dollars, and it's a video basically plugging sales. And so what he's doing here is he's indirectly doing a pitch because the pitch is in the YouTube video. So I wonder if you're starting to see a pattern yet with how people are writing these emails because I am, I hope you are too. First name, become relatable. If you're like me where I was a few years ago, you know it's possible and you have the hunger and you need to make it work or you're in for a life of mediocrity, but you don't have three to five K in the bank to give it a real shot, then this is for you. So you're saying, if you're like me and you're, and you're feeling this, I have something for you, all right? So you're relating to them. Because if people are gonna learn a skill like sales, they wanna learn it from a guy like Luke who kind of started where they were. They don't wanna learn from someone who was always really good and always rich and never really needed money and not coming from the same place. They wanna have the same transformation as Luke. That's why they're on his list. That's what they wanna learn from him. So what, they're, what he's doing here is calling that out directly and saying, yo, if you're like me, then this is for you. Super short email, this is a breath of fresh air, an actual plan to get 5K in your checking account by the end of the year. So this is a solid goal, right? A lot of people don't have 5K in the bank. I remember having less than zero in the bank. And so like if I was broke and I saw this email and it was an actual plan to get 5K in my checking account by the end of the year, I would wanna watch that video, okay? Because Luke makes it sound easy because it basically stresses the fact that all it is is hard work. You don't actually have to be a super genius, kind of like what I talk about, but you don't have to be a super genius, you just have to work hard, and you can make money with sales. So when you click this video, it links to this eight minute video, and um, let's see what he actually plugs at the end. Guys, it's exactly what I did, no fluff, like step by step by step, that is what Luke Alexander did to become a millionaire at 23 years old. So if you're 18, 19, 20, even if you're 25 right now, and you're like, fuck this, I need to make money. Do exactly what I said in this video. And I guarantee you, if you work your ass off and you do not quit, you will be worth hundreds of thousands of dollars, if not millions within five years. That's what it took me from 18 to 23. It took me five years and it happened. So you can do the same thing. I believe in you. Don't be lazy. Get off your ass and use what God gave you and get to work. Oh, I just realized I already watched this video. Nice. <laughs> Good video, Luke. So interesting here because he doesn't actually have a call to action in this video. It seems like he's trying to just build up goodwill. So this is an example of one of those engagement emails where this isn't actually to generate sales. This is just to get engagement, which helps everything. So what most people would have done is they would say, hey, watch this video. And in the video at the end, there would be like, hey, if you want to learn more, here's another thing. And maybe, you know, some sort of lead magnet to get them further down the funnel to sell more stuff. But he didn't do that. All he did was send a link out to a YouTube video that people are going to enjoy and they're going to like him more, which is great. That's how you build a brand. That's how you build a, po a positive reputation via email. Okay, I'm going through Luke's emails and it looks like he doesn't actually really ever do call to actions, which is super interesting. I don't know why he's not doing that. Okay. Oh, here's one. All right how this 20 year old made 10K last month. So the last time that I really saw a call to action out of Luke was October 8th. He goes, Cardinal, 
There is nothing better in business than cold, hard results. Facts. However, here at Closer Cartel, we care about one thing and one thing only. Results. AKA, how much money do you take home each month in your bank account from sales? Last month, one of our students, Mason, not me, different guy, made 10K profit at 20 years old. This month, he's on pace to make 20K already. I recorded an interview with him to get his thoughts on how to make that kind of money in sales, move to Miami, and what he would say to anyone else who wants to get in remote sales. So here's the link to the video right here. And then he has, P.S., if you want results like Mason, again, not me, and hundreds of other students, feel free to book in a call with one of our sales coaches. Okay, so you click that. It goes to a page where you can book a call. And then now I can see the calendar and it looks like they're fucking packed. So this right here is a good example of a sales email. And here's why. At Close the Cartel, we care about one thing only, results. How much money do you take home each month in your bank account? Da, da, da. That's what they care about. Everyone cares about money. Everyone wants more money in their bank account, period. Then they go on to show an example or a case study of one of their students, Mason, different Mason, who made a bunch of money with sales and basically saying that you can do the same thing, which is true. So what they really want you to do is watch the video so that you can see how he made the money and then hopefully Mason's story is gonna resonate with you, the viewer, and then you come back to the email and if you wanna be like Mason and make money like him, click book a call and then end up joining Closer Cartel. All right, you get the point, solid sales email. Luke is basically saying, here's a result that one of our students got. If you wanna be the same, just do this. I think it's a great way to send an email. And it's only one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten sentences. Can you write ten sentences for a client and make the money? Also, let's think about the numbers of this email. So this probably went out to, I think it's over 50,000 people on his list. If they send out a call to action like this, let's say ten people book calls. So out of 50,000, let's just say this time ten random people happen to book calls. If their close rate is 50% and their program is worth $3,000, on the high end, or no, sorry, if they close everyone, they make 30 grand, but if they close 50%, which is much more likely, they make 15 grand off one email. And so if you as a copywriter can make someone $15,000 off of one email, what do you think that makes you? It makes you valuable. It makes you worth basically $15,000 a month if you wanted to do that once a month, you know what I mean? But you're gonna do it multiple times a week. You're gonna sell more for your client. Your client's gonna make a bunch of money off you and they're gonna pay you fairly in exchange. By the way, if you're enjoying this so far and copywriting seems like a skill you really want to get good at and you want to learn how to find clients like this and how to make a bunch of money basically just writing emails like what you just saw, check the link in the description. I have something for you. It's my inner circle. We go one-on-one. -on -one. We'll talk more about it later, but I just wanted to let you know that is there if you're looking for it. Let's go through another example. This is a different business. I've never met Kyle because I've met Wiz and I've met Luke, obviously, but I've never met Kyle. And so let's see what he has to say. He's got a business where he talks about how you can basically be a junk removal expert and make a bunch of money doing junk removal. If you wanna buy a truck and remove people's junk, you can make money doing that. All right, so Kyle says, from 2,000 a month to 50,000 a month. Huh, that's a hell of a hook. He goes, I interviewed Brian Gonzalez a while back and we went over how he scaled his business from two grand a month to 50 grand a month. Ryan reached out to me back in November because his junk removal dumpster business was stuck under 5K a month in sales and he had a lot of money invested in this business. He took a leap of faith and signed up for the Junk Academy and I worked closely with him in the past 12 months and helped give him the right systems in his business as well as lead gen techniques to scale his business to 50K a month. Brian is one of the best guys I've ever met and he is no BS. He gets shit done and that's why he stands out over his competitors. I'm going to drop a link below of me and Brian's interview. If you want more info on scaling your junk business to 50K a month, then book a call with me and my team to go over next steps. Okay, so this email is very similar to Luke's email because he's basically saying, here's someone who got results with my thing. Here's a YouTube video to prove that he did it. And here's a way to basically book a call with me and my team so we can help you make more money with junk. So this looks pretty straightforward. I think you're definitely starting to see a pattern where it's like, this person went from this to this. And if you wanna go from this to this, then do this, okay? Um, also, if you're not in junk removal, and this doesn't resonate with you, that's okay. Because it's only supposed to resonate with people who are sort of in this funnel already. Maybe they know a lot about junk removal. Maybe they already have a junk removal business and they're looking for like next steps to get going. So there's a point here where he goes, Brian reached out to me in November because his business was stuck under 5K a month in sales and he had a ton of money invested in the business. So 
What this is supposed to do is just give PTSD to anybody who has a junk removal business and is at this point and knows how scary it is to basically be burning cash every month. So like junk removal is not, it's not free. Like copywriting is like free to do, right? If you make $10,000 a month, you basically keep $10,000 a month because you have no expenses. Junk removal is not the same. So 50K a month or sorry, 5K a month with all kinds of money invested into the business, that's bad. That means you're, you know, you're underwater. And so that's a scary place to be. And anybody who's sort of been in this position knows how scary it is. And so Kyle is saying that he held Brian out of that really, really scary position and was able to get him up to 50K a month. And now Brian's making a bunch of money, right? So again, they're using examples of someone else to basically inspire you and show you that you can do the exact same thing if you want that type of transformation. So the last few emails that I've shown you all kind of had something similar. So if we go back to Wiz's email, it was like, hey, a few years ago, I was in debt. I was, you know, in a shitty position. Now I'm, I make multiple seven figs a year, okay? So back in the day, I was doing this, and now I'm doing this. I'm doing way better over here. Same with Mason, right? And this guy over here. Um, Mason was, you know, poor, and now he's rich. And with this one, Brian was poor and bleeding money every month, and now he makes 50 grand a month, okay? You're starting to see like some of the patterns of these emails. Okay, I'm gonna do one more example showing you a sales email where it's actually a direct sale. This is from my dog, Chase Diamond, okay? So he has this email marketing course and he's doing a sale on it, so we're just gonna read this email. And I know he wrote this himself, which is kinda cool. I wasn't planning on running this flash sale, so it's a surprise for us both. TLDR, here's 50% off my flagship e-commerce email marketing course. I was just talking to a friend and he commented that the inboxes are about to be flooded with endless discounts on tons of products people don't need. I started internalizing that and it got me thinking, what do people need? I'll spare you the rabbit hole I went down and share what I, that I think people's highest ROI on their purchases is when they invest in bettering themselves. In my mind, that comes from a couple of different shapes and sizes with health and wellness and education being at the top of my list. I can't really help you on the health and wellness side, but I can on the education. I believe learning new skills or improving existing skills is the best thing one can do right now to compete in our world. Email marketing has been the single best skill I've ever invested in in mastering. Email marketing literally changed my life. Sounds silly, but it's 100% true. I've been able to build a large business on the back of it, employ hundreds of people, and drive hundreds of millions of dollars in revenue for my clients. For me, it doesn't get better than this as it's been incredibly fulfilling. The flagship e-commerce email marketing course I created a few years ago has been the best resource for learning and improving email marketing skills for nearly 2,000 people. Their words, not mine. The customer base of this course has been the loudest and proudest group of advocates for it. It literally brings me so much joy to see the love and appreciation people have had for it. When I built the course, I thought it would be a huge time saver and game changer for my own team and maybe a couple dozen others. Never did I imagine it would have the impact it has on so many people. To this day, with very little promotion, people are continually buying the course through referrals from others. So if you're looking to get into e-commerce email marketing for the first time or build upon the foundational knowledge required to do e-commerce email marketing well, my course is for you. I've never ever offered 50% off this course, ever. I think the most I've ever offered on it was like 30%, 35% off. Here's the catch. This 50% off is valid only from now through tomorrow, Sunday at 11.59 PST. I will not make any exceptions, I repeat, I will not make any exceptions if you miss the deadline. The link will auto apply 50% off my course. Don't wait to your success, Chase. Damn. This is probably the best email that we've had so far in the video. I think that the way it's structured is so good and I wanna break this down. The crazy part is Chase wrote this himself. I'm 99% sure he doesn't have another copywriter outside of me, because I know I didn't write this, so he must have. And this is a really, really good email. Let's go through. So the subject line is flash sale 50% off, which like 50% off just catches people's eyes no matter what, you know? He goes, I wasn't planning on running this flash sale, so a surprise for us both. Okay, he wasn't planning on doing this. So he's basically justifying, because sometimes you have to say why you're sending an email. I like to do that. If you're on my email list, you know, like, yo, sending this email because it's like a, a, you know, a chilly Sunday night in Miami and I just wanted to say what's up. Sometimes I'll say that. But for him, he's just justifying it by saying, I wasn't planning on running this, but I'm doing it anyway. Up top, he has a TLDR, which means too long, didn't read. Here's 50% off my flagship email marketing course. So if someone already knows Chase and knows his stuff is good and they're literally just here for the discount and they don't need to be sold to, they don't have to scroll at all. The second line in the email is an opportunity to buy the thing and it's linked right here. Perfect.
Again, justifying why you're sending the email, right? So this is where he starts to sell. If you don't know Chase as well, you don't know how good this product is, which by the way, I've had this since like September of 2020, and I've written sales emails for this product before, so I know how good it is. If you don't, this is all for you, right? So I was talking to a friend, da -da -da, BS products that people don't need. What do people need, right? And this is true, honestly. He's like, he's using a copywriting term called common enemy, which basically sort of like, puts your thing against something else so that people can sort of like buy your thing because they also hate that thing. Even if they don't necessarily need your thing, they hate what you're, you know, the opposite of. Therefore, they're gonna buy your thing. The enemy of my enemy is my friend. I'll spare you the rabbit hole I went down. Um, people's highest ROI on their purchases when they invest in bettering themselves. That's true, that's true. In my mind, it comes in a couple of different shapes and sizes, health and wellness and education being on the top of my list. He's straight up and say, I can't help you on health and wellness, but I can on the education, all right? I like that, it's honest and it's, it's real and it makes people feel like he's a real person. I believe learning new skills and improving existing skills is the best thing one can do right now to compete in our world, okay? So he's instilling a belief in you in the email. So he's basically saying, if you're anything like me, I believe this thing, if you believe in me, if you believe in this as well, then you must be a smart person because I think I'm smart. That's basically what he's saying. Email marketing is the best single skill I've ever invested in mastering. It's true, I mean, his agency does you know, millions and millions and millions of dollars a year. And so it's helped him a lot. It's a big fucking skill and we're talking about it right now. He's built a big business on the back of it, which is his agency. He employs hundreds of people, um, social proof, more social proof basically, and driven hundreds of millions of dollars in revenue for my clients. That's social proof right there as well. Cause like if he's been able to do that with email marketing, you probably can too. He says, the course I created a few years ago is the best resource for learning and improving email marketing skills for nearly 2000 people. So again, social proof, because if 2,000 people are already inside something, it must be pretty decent, right? It's like 2,000 people aren't gonna buy a piece of shit product. And he also says, their words, not mine, which means this is basically a review. If people are saying this instead of him, it's more powerful than him just saying it. Um, customer base, loud and proud group of advocates, brings me so much joy. When I built the course, um, I thought it would be a huge time saver and game changer for my own team. So he didn't even really mean to sell it is what he's saying. He wanted to do it for his team. He didn't think he was gonna do it for everybody. Never did I imagine how the impact it had on so many people, okay? To this day, very little promotion. People are continually buying the course through referrals. So again, he's saying that I'm not even promoting this and everyone loves it and everyone loves buying it. So I'm giving it to you now for a crazy discount and you're gonna need this thing. He's also doing a ton of scarcity and urgency, which is what Wiz did in this one here, okay? And I believe him. I believe that it actually will, you know, be done tomorrow at, you know, at midnight. Um, so he's saying that this is in fact the greatest discount you could ever get because it's, you know, 15% more or less than it was the last time he did a discount, which is very rare for this. And you have to act right now, okay? I will not make any exceptions. I will not make any exceptions if you miss a deadline. Don't wait to your success, Chase. I think this is a banger. I wouldn't change anything about it. I think that he sells really well and it doesn't sound pushy at all, which I respect a ton and Chase Diamond is the GOAT for that reason. All right, so we just broke down a bunch of emails that I think are really good examples of the stuff that you're gonna be writing as a copywriter. What we're gonna do next is I'm gonna show you how I would write an email and we're just gonna do it together. All right, I'm sharing my screen again and we're gonna go through and we're just gonna write some emails based on four structures that are super simple that I, I feel like you can just do right now. They're really not that hard, okay? So let's talk about them. First one I got is before and after for yourself, before and after for a case study, okay? We got install a belief and we got a discount, okay? So this is the one that we saw with Wiz where it's like before I was poor and I was stuck in a country that I didn't know where I was and now I'm rich. This one is kind of like what Luke and uh, Kyle did, where it's like, you know, my student was poor and now they're rich. You can install a belief where it's like, we'll talk more about this one later, where it's like, here's something I want you to know and if you think like this, you will be successful kind of thing. We also got a discount, which is basically what Chase did. All right, so I'm gonna take a couple of these and just make some super simple emails and I'm gonna show you why they work, why they're good, and basically what you can do. We're also gonna talk about the number one structure for like writing pretty much anything, which is ADA. There's two, there's ADA and PAS, okay? So that stands for attention, interest, desire, action. 
And this one stands for problem, agitation, solution. Okay, so these are also two ways you can format emails, but they're not full ideas in themselves. You need to apply them to something else. So the way Ada works in the context of an email, Ada is usually for ads, right? Because if you're doing an ad, you need to get their attention and you need to sort of make them interested right away. But if, you're on, if they're on your email list, like you don't really need to like get their attention inside the email. The way it works is like you get their attention with the subject line, interest with basically a one sentence hook. You build desire um, with one of these three things here. Okay, so with you know some sort of uh, result. or transformation, and action with a call to action. So that could be sort of just like click here to book a call or click here to buy this thing, or, you know, and you can have urgency in there where you can say, all right, urgency where it's like you need to do this within the next 12 hours or else it's gonna expire, or scarcity where it's like we only have 10 left, okay? With PAS, it's a little bit different. So problem um, can be like, you know, maybe sort of like in the before and after context where it's like, problem, you are poor. Um, agitation means here's why it sucks being poor. Solution is here's how to not be poor. Very, very, very simple. Okay, so right now, because we kind of already saw examples of these two here, like a before and after for yourself and a before and after for a case study, I'm not gonna write an email based on that. I really wanna show you what it looks like to write an email around installing a belief. And so I'm gonna do this for my boy Luke because I know him really well, I know his voice, and he's really easy to write for. I've also like kind of been following Closer Cartel since they came out back in 2021, so I know exactly what the offer is. It's gonna take me no time to do research because I already know everything in my head. And through the magic of editing, I'm gonna write this email in approximately 0.5 seconds. All right, we're back. So I don't know how long that took, but you could probably see on the timestamp in the bottom of my screen, I actually don't know. It might've been like 10, 12 minutes to write this email. We're gonna go through it together. So the subject line, I always write last because usually before I write an email, I don't really know what it's gonna be about. Sometimes I have inspiration for a subject line, but I have like a couple of ideas right here. So I have do this before it's too late with a question mark because it might not be the one or this is why you need to make money now with a question mark because again, I don't know which one I'm gonna use. We'll go back to this after. All right, so we go, by the way, this is what it looks like to do a first name merge field, at least in Clavio. So it's first name, it's Luke. Writing to you today because I was going to my old journal. Since 2019, I've kept a little notebook with everything I've ever wanted to achieve written down in my messy ass handwriting. The reason I'm sharing this is because there's one thing that I wish would exist in everyone's journal. I wrote it down initially for me, but everyone should see this. I don't care who you are, I don't care how old you are, I don't care what stage of the journey you're at. This is something that needs to be in the back of your mind 24 seven when you're working on starting your sales journey. Here's what I wrote. This is all made up by the way. I know he has a journal, but like I just kind of came out with this off the dome. <clears throat> I would rather die than fail to give my family everything they've ever wanted and needed. I've been given these gifts by God, not so I can enjoy them selfishly, but so I can pass them on to the people who deserve the most. On December 24th, 2020, I wrote that down. I still remember writing it actually. Christmas Eve, just when I was beginning to make 10K a month of sales. Here's the thing. As a young man, your duty is not to yourself, it's to your loved ones. If your family struggles while you live it up in Europe on a yacht, you're not a man. You're disgracing the talents and gifts that were given to you. I was able to retire my mom, get her a house, move her to Miami so she could be out of the shithole we grew up in, Pike County, Ohio. I was able to employ my brother and put him on a path to make six figures so he could live at the same type of lifestyle that I now live. And it's all because of sales. Sales is the one model that rewards hard work. I'm willing to take calls from 8 a.m. to 10 p.m. if it means my family can have a better life. I'll follow my face and miss out on eight out of 10 calls as long as I can close two out of 10 calls and make $1,000 for the day. Sales has allowed me to change the fate of my bloodline and all it took was one or two years of ruthless hard work. Now that my family's taken care of, my goal is to help people like you make your first 10K a month online with sales. If you're willing to join me, I'd love to work with you. Click a link to book a call with my team, but only if you're serious, this is a get-rich-quick scheme that'll make you a million in your first year. It's a grind, but I can promise you, with the right work ethic, your bloodline will be changed for the better, just like mine. Click uh, book a call, we'll chat soon. Okay, so let's break this down. So obviously I'm going with this one right here, install a belief, okay? Because Luke, and again, it sounds like I'm just the biggest meat rider of Luke Alexander of all time, but he's just my homie and I know a lot about his offer, so I'm spitting right now. But Luke is very traditional in his beliefs, He's very stoic. He's a big fan of sort of like traditional masculinity. 
And he talks about that a lot in his marketing, all right? Because it resonates with people. A lot of people want to be like that. Um, going to my old journal, so a little bit of nostalgia. Uh, it's basically social proof saying that I've been doing this shit since 2019, so you should listen to me. I'm not brand new like some of these guys. Um, the reason I'm sharing this, so the justification, why are you emailing them? Because you don't want to say, I'm, I'm sending you this email so I can fucking make money. You don't want to say that. You want to say, so there's one thing I wish would exist in everyone's journal. Um, and basically, this is like handling objections. So if you are, if someone's reading this and they're going like, ah, uh, like Luke wrote this, but I, I probably won't need to know it. You're handling these objections by saying like, I don't care who you are, how old you are, doesn't matter. You need to see this no matter what. Uh, and then I give this little sort of like excerpt that I just wrote myself. Uh, that is sort of like the belief that we're trying to install, right? So in Luke's scenario, the way that he's going to um, install a belief is by saying that he as an authority is saying it and it's, you know, it sort of aligns with what a lot of people believe. Like, you know, I'm sure like, can we, can we say Tate on YouTube? Are we allowed to say the word Tate? Tate has probably said this before. Um, this is something that a lot of like sort of like new young masculinity guys will say. Um, and it was right when I was starting to make 10K a month with sales. Here's the thing. Um, and this is sort of like a very romantic and powerful belief, right? Where it's like everyone wants to take care of their family deep down. Like everyone wants to feel like they're providing because that's like a very powerful feeling, right? If your family struggles while you live it up in Europe on a yacht, you're not a man. So I use this example on purpose as kind of like an extreme because like seriously, like if, you're, if your family is like struggling and you're in Europe on a yacht on like a Wednesday afternoon smoking a cigar and you got a bunch of models around and you're just like blowing like 30, 40, 50 grand like in Marbella or Mykonos, like yeah, you're kind of a, you're kind of a piece of shit, all right? And so everyone can agree with that. Everyone can agree with that. You're disgracing the talents and gifts that were given to you, okay? So very powerful language here. Um, sort of story, right? So I was able to retire my mom, get her a house, and move her to Miami so she could be out of the shithole we grew up in, okay? Um, I was able to employ my brother, make him six figures, and it's all because of sales, all right? Because people want this. How do they get it? They get it with this, okay? Um, and then sort of like firing people up because people love the idea of working hard. A lot of people don't like actually working hard. They just like the idea of it. Um, so I'm willing to do this. Um, and then also this was sort of like my subtle way of talking about how much money you can make from sales. So like, I didn't want to say like, I do this and you can make, you know, a thousand dollars a day, but this is like basically how I wanted to do it. So I'm kind of trying to like subtly slide it in there, miss eight out of 10 calls and that sucks. But as long as I can close two out of 10 calls, I'll make a grand for the day. So basically this is just, if like it's a $5,000 offer, you make a 10% commission, 500 bucks times two, $1,000. Uh, changed the fate of my bloodline. All it took was one, one or two years of ruthless hard work. A lot of people, especially if they're older, can look at one to two years of hard work and be like, yo, I can do that, no problem. And so it ins inspires them, it fires them up. Like, cause no one wants to think about like, people would rather make like six figures in a year, like in, in one year of work, than make eight figures in 20 years. You know what I mean? Cause it's just so far away, no one even thinks of it. So like, this is how people are gonna think of it. Now that my family is taken care of, my goal is to help people like you make your first 10K a month with online, online with sales. If you're willing to join me, I'd love to work with you. Um, also handling the objection of like, this is not a get rich quick thing, sort of making it a little bit scarce. So this is the scarcity that we kind of talked about where it's like, this isn't for everybody, this is only for people who are serious. So sort of like pre-qualifying them. But I can promise you that with the right work ethic, your bloodline will be changed for the better, just like mine. Okay, so comparing himself to you again. And then call to action, click here to book a call and we'll chat soon, okay? So this is a solid email that I wrote in probably 12 minutes um, that Luke could probably send to his list right now as long as I come up with a fucking subject line and he'd probably make some money, he'd probably book some calls. So Luke, if you're watching this, you can use this if you want. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna stop sharing my screen now and you just watch me write an email. Okay, so so far we've seen what email copywriting and email marketing really is, why it works, We've seen good emails from a few of my friends, and we've watched me write an email based on one of the four structures that I want you to use. This is very important. Before you start trying to go and get paid for this, I want you to practice what you just watched me do. So what I just did for Luke was what would be considered a sample email. I took someone that I already know exists, I'm already on his list, I know how he writes, I know his offer, and I just wrote a fake email that if he wanted to, he could probably use. You are not going to have the confidence to reach out to people until you do something like that at least three to five times. I want you to find three to five people, and on the screen you're gonna see a list that I'm gonna give my editor of a bunch of people that you should subscribe to their list and get their emails so you can basically write emails for them. Pick three to five of these people, write them an email, 
You don't have to show it to them. You don't have to show it to anybody. But it's just going to sit in your Google Docs like you just saw me do with mine. And that's going to be a sample that you know you can write. So what's going to happen is when you start doing outreach, chances are someone's going to ask you if you have samples and you're going to have to send them something. It's really good if you have one or two in the can that you can just send them over of people you've written emails for before. You don't have to lie and say that you've actually worked for them. You just say that you wrote them a sample, okay? And when you do reach out, you should write a sample for the person that asked you to write the samples. So let's say some fitness trainer guy says, hey, do you have any samples? You can send them one that you made for Luke Alexander, for example, and you can also write this guy a sample really quick, just like I did. Mine took me 10 minutes. So you can write them a sample and include that as well. But this is absolutely crucial for getting your confidence up. And if you've never written anything in your life, you have absolutely no business reaching out to anyone asking them to pay you. The way you're going to be finding most of your clients once you've done your sample copy is through Instagram. And remember, like we just saw, you're going to be looking for info product clients, people who are selling courses or coaching programs, people who are educating others on how to do something. And info products doesn't have to mean just how to make money. There's like the three sort of niches, which is health, wealth, and relationships. So within those, there's a bunch of different ways that people can help you do something. So for health, it can either be like gaining muscle or losing fat or how to get your cardio up or how to do any sort of, like people have products on all kinds of stuff like that. Those range from $10 courses to $10,000 mentorships. With wealth, obviously, it's how to make money, how to save money, how to you know, invest, how to do all kinds of stuff re regarding wealth. For the third one is relationships. So it could be like maybe there's like a marriage coach or some sort of like relationship therapist or it could be a course on like how to get girls or how to get guys or how to do whatever you kind of want to do within the context of relationships. There are endless different types of info products. It doesn't have to just be how to make money doing junk removal. The way you find these people is literally just by searching keywords on your Instagram. So you go to the explore page just type in a word like junk removal, and then you're gonna see a bunch of people who are probably doing that kind of thing, or you can type in sales training, or you can type in Airbnb, because people are doing like Airbnb coaching, that's one of the make money things, or you can type in fitness trainer, or you can type in lose fat, or you can type in whatever, and you're gonna get a bunch of influencers who are selling something and they have links in their bio, and you're gonna be selling to them the skill of copywriting. Your pitch to them is basically going to be along the lines of, hey, you have a product, I have a skill of copywriting, I can help you make money with emails if you let me. If they like you and they're interested, what's gonna happen is you're gonna get on a call, they're gonna ask you a bunch of questions about basically how it works and how you charge, and then you're gonna answer those questions and then they're gonna pay you probably around $2,000 a month would be ideal for a beginner to charge. The reason I'm kind of blowing through this right now is because I do have a video that's way more in depth on how to do this. So just click the one that's probably popped up right here, shout out my editor, and uh, click that, watch that, and that's gonna make you really, really confident in doing your outreach. I gave you my script as well, so you can just have that. The most important thing about this video is that you learn how to actually write copy. And I think that between the breakdowns and giving you ideas on like how to write, I think you're gonna be a way better writer than what you would have thought before this video. Now that you made it to the end, congratulations. You are a much better copywriter than you were a couple of hours ago. So you know what that means? It's time to start writing. The worst thing you can do right now is start procrastinating, thinking you need to watch more videos and do more stuff without actually writing anything. I want you to do exactly what I said to do and it's time to open up the Google Docs and start cranking. If you do need more information and you're trying to skip a bunch of steps that the beginners usually have to take because they don't know what's going on, I can accelerate that for you very easily. I have a product called The Inner Circle where it's all of my courses and copywriting material that you can learn how to write, learn how to sell to clients and all kinds of stuff about how to get clients, including multiple weekly group calls, one-on-one -on -one access to me and my coaches, and live feedback so we can make sure that you're set, and literally giving you leads because we're doing lead gem for our students inside the inner circle. If you think you need that, click the link in the description below and I will give you all of that. The inner circle is by far the greatest program for copywriters right now. I don't think you're gonna get better results anywhere else. And I absolutely love helping people go from zero to 31K a month, just like Kevin, or 10K a month, just like Alex, or 75 to eight grand a month, like Mao, who's also traveling the world, which all these videos are right here if you wanna see him. That's addicting to me, it's helping people make a bunch of money. So if you wanna get the same kind of result, click the link, and I'll see you in there.